Hi guys, thank you so much for joining me. Very excited to have you here because I'm going to be sharing with you a concept, an idea that famous guitarists have been using for, I was going to say centuries, but maybe not. Decades anyway, right? A long, long time. And some of the coolest riffs and licks that we, we love to play were made using these ideas. And a lot of them are done in the key of E minor, um, or the key of E in general. But E minor gives us a lot of options. So I'm going to walk you through a few steps here uh, that you can add in. And by the end of it, you will be able to jam. And what I mean by that is you'll be able to pick up the guitar and you'll be able to start making riffs and licks of your own and understanding where all these famous riffs and licks come from, how they do it. And that really is a, a huge step with guitar, where you're not in the copying phase anymore. You understand how the riffs and licks are made, but then you can do it yourself. And once you can, it's so much fun. All right, so I hope you get a lot from this, guys. This is something that, you know, I have I've, I've a lot of fun with. So <clears throat> let's start. So the first thing we need to know is the E minor chord, of course. All right, just two fingers on the A and D string, the second fret. Pretty easy, right? <clears throat> the next thing we need to know is the open E blues scale. Okay, and that's gonna allow us to pick out a lot of, uh, you know, cool riffs and licks using these notes, okay? Um, we don't want it to sound scalesy, but first we need to know the actual notes that we've got to work with. So the notes are... So let me break that down nice and slow first, right? We've got zero, three, or open three, uh, whatever we wanna call it, right? Zero, three, zero, one, two. Now I want you to keep a finger for each um, each fret. That'll allow you to come up and down the string. Once you've got built up the muscle memory, it'll allow you to come up and down the fretboard smoothly and, and fastly and pull out some really cool ass licks, right? So we've got zero, three, zero, one, two, zero, two, zero, two, three, Zero three, zero three. All right, zero three, zero one two, zero two, zero two three, zero three, zero three. Okay, and the notes you want to keep an eye on, right, are the the E note, right? That's our, our root note, the open E on both uh, the low E and the high E, and the uh, second fret of the uh, the D string. We also want to keep an eye on that tasty blue note here. One. On the uh, the A string, and then you've got three on the G string. And that sounds really nice as a passing note. You don't really do, need to do anything complicated. For it to sound good. All right. <clears throat> So once we've got that under our fingers, we want to be able to turn it from something that sounds like a scale, right? So when you come down like that, that just sounds scalesy, right? So the best way to break out of that is to go up in triplets, which means I'm going to count to three. One, two, three, one, two, three. Takes a lot of practice and muscle memory, right? But it's fun. Just go up nice and slow, and then work on speed. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. All right, and that is how you start making it sound a little bit more smooth and musical, right? So once you've done that, <clears throat> we're just about ready to start roughing. Okay, the other thing I want to show you is out of this scale, we've got a couple of other notes that we can add in here. We've got the, the blues extension, right, which brings us up into shape two of the pentatonic scale, right? We want to slide from two in the G up to four, three, five, on the B, three, five, on the high E. So just think of that as additional notes we can slide up to. give us more options. So guys, once we've got that under our fingers, right, I'm going to show you a really simple concept to start turning that into uh, some riffs and some, some cool music. All right, so what we're going to do first is we're going to get an E minor chord and we're going to play this. All 
all right? Just two little strums here. And then what I'm doing is I'm palm muting here, uh, just dulling the strings a little bit my palm. And I'm really just getting the bassy strings here, right? I'm just going... Right, and I'm going to count to four, right? That'll be me counting a bar. One, a two, a three, a four, a one, a two, a three, a four, right? And what I'm going to do to add in some little licks and riffs to that is on the four, I'm going to just play something, right? So it's going to go like this. One, a two, a three, a four, and a one, a two, a three, a four, and a doing right there is climbing up the scale and down the scale. All right, so one, a two, a three, a four, and a two, one, zero, three. And that's note here sounds quite good when you bend it down a little bit. You can walk into it from the other way, zero, three, zero, one. Now what we can also do is start to add in notes from the scale and just start to experiment with it, just keeping that counting going. And I can actually strum down in that because I'm just playing the E minor chord, right? And just get one of those notes in. The blues note. Now, that's great, but eventually that'll start to become a little bit tedious, all right? We want to start making some chord progressions, right? So we could really play a 12-bar blues. We could play four bars of that, four counts of four. Then we could bring those two fingers down to an A and play two bars there. So just bring these two fingers down one string and just play from the A string, the same kind of thing. Same notes, right? All right, so two bars in E minor again, we could do that. So two, uh, four bars in E minor, two bars in A, two bars in E again. And then we can walk into a B7, right? The last four bars of a 12 bar blues will go like this. See how I just used the E blues skill to walk into that? a whole 12 bar blues using these ideas I might throw in a little lick like that as well using the extension where I can slide up from 2 to 4 3 in the B 4 down to 2 on the G and open and 2 on the, the, the D now this is like I probably played I think maybe 66 times on this channel so far right so if you've seen any other stuff, you'll know this, like, but this is where it's taken from. And it's classic, it's been used in so many songs, all right, that you'll know of, like, Wish You Were Here and, um, you know, lots of stuff. Anyways, <clears throat> I'm going to just jam, and again, this lesson isn't for you to naturally have a progression to play, this is to have the tools to do something yourself. So watch what I do, you can emulate it in whatever way you like, or just start to come up with your own stuff. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed that. If you did, let me know in the comments. If you did enjoy this lesson, then you'll obviously love 
my blues course. Uh, in fact, all my courses right now are 70% off my acoustic ascension course, my blues course, my lead guitar course, uh, community access, live calls, all that stuff. 70% off, you can check it out in the description. Or of course, uh, the best way to accelerate your guitar playing very quickly is to work with me one-on-one -on -one over 12 weeks. You can have a little look at the video here and if you fancy it, you can apply. All right guys, take it easy. Thanks for joining me and I'll see you in the next one.